Hello and welcome. I am Kirby and this is part two of our Subnautica series. Uh, I did a little bit of fishing off screen just so we have our health and our water up for streaming again our filming and let's see let's drink some water here and eat some fish we caught a lot of fish so let's just make all the water we can so we have something to go and then we will explore our surroundings we have no cooked fish, so let's cook like a few fish and then we're good to go. Boomerang. And the rest of the fish we will put into our storage. And also all of this. And we will drop the seaweed out here. Okay, there we go. So let's see where we can go and also we want to make ourselves uh, an oxygen tank. We need two titanium for that. We have fiber mesh in our storage so let's see what we can do. Here we go, one. And let's grab this fish. And oxygen. We have enough now. And let's make ourselves an oxygen tank so this annoying message doesn't come up every 10 seconds. What I really like about Below Zero is compared to part 1 that you have the sea glider so early makes you so much more mobile and let's grab oh we had enough titanium already doesn't matter and let's make ourselves an o2 tank and now we got new blueprints which are nice as well let's put two of the waters in here And then let's go out again. Not sure if it's the best idea to go at night, but we will see what awaits us. And now we have twice the oxygen from before. And now I think. Okay, oh no, we can't slash that. Oh, it's right click the slash. Nope, no plants that we can gather. There should be some fish close by that we haven't yet examined so we can can get some creep vine samples here and some quartz oh, we can scan this let's do that real quick oh, here's the sea monkeys again gonna steal my shit again. Did he steal my knife? He did steal my knife. Hello? Oh man. This is so annoying. Those creatures were not in part one and I'm thankfully they weren't. I'm not sure how you can get rid of them effectively. Just have to be careful they don't steal my important stuff. That would be really bad. Did we scan you? Yes, we scanned you already. I think the boomerang fish and the peepers we didn't scan yet, yes. He's so fast though. Okay, we got the peeper and let's see if we can find the boomerang fish. Doesn't look like it. <coughs> hmm. 
Not sure what that was. That didn't sound good though. And let's go to the surface. Also what's uh, more difficult in this is that you can't surface everywhere. In the old one you could surface everywhere. But now here there's uh, ice caps on top. Or on the surface so you can't just go up and be safe. You have to check that you're not right where uh, an ice cap is above you. So let's see. There's some boomerang fish but those are all only environment. This is a real one. You can't get them from the swarms that we just saw. They have to be singled out kinda. Okay, let's dive a bit deeper. Okay, yeah, there's a new... Oh, we can... Yeah, let's scan this. We have to be really quick. And then take this and then we... Surface as fast as we can. Because this is even faster, the bladder than the... Or faster... Then the sea glide, and what's this? Here's a station. Okay, that didn't climb, now we're on. We can scan this. Mineral detector, nice. Not sure where the music is coming from. Oh, we can scan the desk, nice. Uh, yeah, in this game you can base build, by the way, so... Okay, let's see what we got here. We got a new message, adding essential blueprints. So we got a lot of blueprints, let's see. We got the computer chip and the wiring kit before already. And we're losing a lot of heat, so let's go back into the warm water. <laughs> Kappa. Guess it's really warm. Did we scan the penguins already? That's a big question. Okay, let's go up here again. And yeah, you can base build up here. So let's see if we can scan anything else. can take this. It looked like a, a nutrient block. That's food. And the other thing looked like a flare. Uh, yes, it was indeed a flare. And the nutrient block is food, so let's see what else we got here. We got the mineral detector, proximity detector used to locate raw materials. We got the beacon, I think, and also the desk. And we got one piece of the gravitational trap. So let's see if we can scan a penguin. Nice, Pen a penguin. <laughs> what does he do? Now let's come out here. Should be baby penguins, right? We can catch them. I'm not sure what we can do. I just. Can we eat them? I don't think so. We could try, though. Okay, let's go down here. And. Oh, yeah. There's stuff. So, a health kit. And more water. And another PDA. It's good, and also in those, those are the the crates where you find um, find stuff to scan. Usually, there's nothing here though. Okay. Also, if you have the knife, you only have to hit once instead of twice or three times, which is very good. And we need those corals for the electrical wiring kits. So let's grab some of them. 30 seconds. Some more copper and titanium and then let's surf. Uh, we could have actually gone for the oxygen plant there, but it's fine. Whoa! Okay, we jumped really high there. Never had that happen. So let's see. Let's go deeper. Oh, it's only a bladder fish. Passing one hundred meters. 
Oh, and there's salt. We haven't had salt yet. You can cure fish with the salt. And then, what's this? That's a sea glider. We have that already, right? Oh yeah, it gives titanium if you have it, I forgot. 30 seconds. And... Uh, what was I saying? Uh, this guy doesn't sound like he's very nice. I think there was another one. Yep. And he tried to bite us. So we have to be careful about them. Let's go down again though and try to scan this guy. Maybe. Without getting hurt too much. Shark. Okay. Oh, he just ate something else. Hope he doesn't hit us immediately. So we can. Uh, it sounds like he's right up. There's two. Okay. Let's see if we can grab this real quick. We found the high capacity O2 tank. Uh, okay, nice. Build a fragment. And there's a locker here. There's nothing in it. But I think. Yeah. We have to go up again. This is really annoying at the beginning that you can't go deeper. Oh. Oh. We almost died. Didn't bring us to the top. We found a battery charger though. So we can charge the batteries of all our devices. Power transmitter. Okay. Is there no... There's no oxygen plant though. Close by. Okay, we can scan the window. Let's see. There's two sharks. We don't want to mess with them. Well, that's actually already something. Blah. Something we want to explore more here. And now we should be fine. As long as we stay above. 100 meters should be fine. This should all be sea glider fragments, right? Yes. Okay. So let's go back to our base. And then see if we can make some more equipment to survive better and longer. And then Maybe we will explore some stuff on land as well. Oh, there's... I think that's the second part of the gravitational trap if we're lucky. Yes, it is. That's really good. So I think most of the stuff is random generated. Ex especially the... Let's get the quartz. Especially the, the fragments. Oh, my inventory is full. We can drink... The water though. If it doesn't lag. Oh yeah, it was lag. And so there's no way to know where everything is. I think the big landmarks and stuff are maybe in the same direction or even in the same spot. I'm not sure about that. But I know that the small stuff is not always at the same spot. Okay. Distress. Let's see, we got the Pathfinder tool, deploys a holography. Oh yeah, you can shoot discs with this and then it kind of marks the way. That glass we need to produce uh, to make some, I think, some submarine kind of thingies. And if we find silver, we can already upgrade to the next O2 tank. The air pump is needed for base building and what else could we need habitat builder I'm not sure if we start building immediately I don't think so we got all of the compartment hatches ladder bioreactor battery charger we could install a battery charger and make a solar panel do we need for the battery charger yeah we could do that soonish 
But before that I want the compass and I really want the high capacity O2 tank. Let's see what we can craft here. Just pipes and a floating air pump. And a beacon. And here we have glass. Another battery and copper wire. Let's make some glass. Don't think we need the quartz for anything else yet. And we can we need two glass anyway for the high capacity O2 tank. And then let's store some stuff away, even though we are almost full already. Okay, we can't do anything with the penguin then can we can we let him live here? Can he be our pet? Can I put him down? We can't can't drop him in the base. We'll let him go. I oh, could have scanned him. It looked like I could have scanned him. Doesn't matter. Let's make some fiber mesh. Just because it's more space efficient, and then let's get on the way. See what we can find outside of the water. I think not really much at the moment because there's a snowstorm. We probably have to wait for the weather to warm up a bit before we can go out. So let's explore a bit in the water then. Best thing we could find right now would be uh, would be silver, ice fruit plant. No clue what that is. Wait, that's all the database entry. Okay, can we cut it? Pick up fruit. Okay. Can we eat this? Can we cook this? Oh, it gave a lot of water. Oh my god, what was that? Oh, that was a... Uh yeah, those are really annoying. I remember them. You can... What can you do with them? Uh, I know, I just remember them being like really, really annoying. Okay, and we need to go up again. And let's see where we can find silver. Maybe we are lucky somewhere here. What did it want me to scan? It wanted me to scan out a shell plant here. Some things you scan you can't do anything with and some you can interact with, collect it, cut it, whatever. Copper. Let's see, the weather looks better now. Oh, never mind. It's just an optical illusion, I guess. The kelp root. I think you can do stuff with that as well. Why doesn't it show me immediately? Oh, hmm. Um, I'm not sure if that's a bug that it doesn't show or more to this, but or if we have to explore more. Let's take the oxygen here. Is this? Oh, that's the. Yeah, those explode and hurt. Yes, thanks. And then you can take the crystalline sulfur, you need that for something, I don't know what. Can't remember. It's been way too long since I played this game. Okay, that's a new one. 
chance of silver, I think it said. Which is pretty nice. Um, sea monkey nest. And we have to go back. So we... Oh, there's a plant again. Just have to be really careful because you can get lost in these. You can l get lost in here so fast. Oh, there's a lot of fragments in here because they steal everything I see. 30 seconds. Uh, yeah, we have to find the exit, otherwise we're pretty dead. Ah, uh, I already lost my way. Oh, never mind. Lucky. We made it. I can't remember jumping out of the water that hard. Okay, let's try to scan that last thing that was there. And then get out again. Uh, where was it? Is this? Yes, I think so. Calaverite. Chance of gold. Oh, we got gold. I would have liked silver more than gold, though, to be honest. Not sure what those do. Are they? I, I can. Can I steer them? I can't. I can just plug myself on the back of them. Chance of silver. Oh, we got the silver. Well, that's great. So, what that means is that we can. Can't cut this. What that means is that we can make the bigger oxygen tank again. And then to go deeper than 100 meters, we need to get a better mask so the it gets more efficient the deeper you go. Because otherwise, you just have a bit of bigger tank but you lose oxygen really quick still. Okay. Uh, let's make the big oxygen tank then. Yeah, we have to take it off first. Put it in our inventory. I like that it automatically sorts the inventory. And then make the high capacity oxygen tank. And I think it puts it on automatically. Yes, it does. And then we wanted a compass, so we need a copper wire and a wiring kit. For the wiring kit we need two silver, we don't have that. And we have enough copper wire. So we need more silver, but we have a lot of oxygen now, I think. Yeah, 130, that's really good. And then maybe we make a beacon next as well, just to mark where the cave is. But the, the compass will help a lot. So yeah. Let's go back. And can we make another battery? Because our battery will run out really soon. So we need two of those. Make a spare battery for our glider. And then we make a copper cable. We don't have ore. We have some here. So let's... Make one copper wire, and then we only need two silver. And let's make a uh, first aid kit as well. And let's use it immediately. Oh, that was not what I wanted to do. <laughs> we could cook some fish. I forgot that. We need food as well. We still have fish, right? Decomposing, cooked. Oh, I guess minus 20 health. I'm not sure we're gonna eat that. Ice fruit. Maybe we can drop that outside and then... And then scan it. So let's make two hoop fish. Why can't we make the hoop fish? Oh, you can't cook the hoop fish? Oh yeah, you can. I was on the wrong tab. And we keep the salt for good fish, like the arctic peeper. Because the fish give different amounts of food. 
So, yeah, we dropped those two. So let's see if we can scan the fruit. We drop this and this because it loses us too much health. And then we drop the ice fruit and maybe we can scan it again. No, we can't. Well, now we see though what it gives. Okay, I guess they just didn't implement the picture yet. But yeah, I think that's it for this episode. In the next episode we will try to go on land and hope the sandstorm is over and try to get a compass going so we know where we're going. And yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, if, if you enjoyed it, like my videos, subscribe to my channel and be ready for more to come.